Well, the, the transfer window closed about half a month ago. I promised they did some deals. I can't really remember what they were. Hey guys, and welcome back to the 27th episode of the FM22 Salford City Road to Glory with me. Raxo FM, where today we are versing Sheffield Wednesday and then Cardiff City, who are up in second place in the Skybet Championship. Two awesome games for you today. So, of course, what I want you to do is smash the like button so that you don't miss the. No, 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 that, that's subscribing where well, you don't miss stuff. Smash the like button for me just because it helps me. But subscribe so you don't miss the daily football manager content coming your way. And can we please smash? 10 likes on today's video to celebrate wrapping up the transfer window and having some deals to show you first of all i'm going to show you what has happened in the games and i'm not going to lie it's not been good yeah it's not been good um this is probably the worst form we've ever had i, I got knocked out of the fa cup lost to sheffield united uh, beat luton town beat barnsley drew to bournemouth which was actually a pretty good result because it's bournemouth but it's a 2 0 home loss to, to millwall who are down in sixth place which it's an, it's not ideal but it happened and uh, and we move on we move forward and we're stronger because of it and i've made some transfers to hopefully strengthen the side to help us get to those promotion spots the only player that got sold is a youngster that is terrible and i got rid of him on a free and the only players that came in as first of all Dobra? No, that's not that hard to say. I, I shouldn't have made that such a big deal. But he is a good rotation winger, central midfielder. I like the versatility he brings to the table. I was hoping he would have a bit more potential. But at 22 years of age, he can still improve. I think it's a pretty decent signing as a rotation option. But the one I'm most happy with is Brandon Cooper coming in as a centre-back option. 24 years of age, and he is signed for just £400,000. Could eventually rise to £900,000. I think even that is a really good deal for this man who is six foot one, got a bit of ability and can improve. And of course, we did need that new centre back, especially because I just I, I don't trust Gazzino at all. I, every single time I played him, he's been terrible. I don't like him at the club, and I'm going to sell him as soon as I can next year. So this is what the team is looking like now as we jump into our first game of today's episode. I don't know if it is actually. I haven't edited it, so it might not be. It, 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 is it? No, I think I think it's not the right team. There we go. Cooper goes onto the bench. Still not going to be starting ahead of Fagan Walcott or Jones, in my opinion. But good rotation option to say the least. And I think I think aside from that, we've got basically actually I think we do have our strongest eleven out there because John Jules has just come back from injury. Danger is definitely not going on the bench instead of any players. So we'll go go ahead and do that and. We'll keep John Jules on the bench just because he has literally just come back from injury and jumped to this one, hoping we can come away with a win. Our first win for two games. Sorry, I'm moving my microphone. I can't tell if that is going to make some feedback sound going on, but you've heard it now. I was talking during it. I can't edit it out. It's too much effort, boys and girls. Let's jump into this game. Oh, my gosh. Was it yesterday's episode where I coughed? I think it was. I didn't edit that out, did I? Oh, that's terrible. That's really bad. Oh, well. Uh, this first opportunity coming our way. Sheffield Wednesday putting a ball into the mixer. Trying to find a player, and they do. Kovar makes a, a good enough save to keep it out. And that is not an, a good early sign for what might be coming in this game. I think... Oh, I thought that was Gary Hooper up top there for a second. Wellington Phoenix player. New Zealand represent. I mean, he is English, but, you know, played for... New Zealand team and I thought he came back to the championship he's actually quite old and he's actually not very good anymore so it wouldn't wouldn't make a lot of sense for him to come back into the championship but I was still intrigued anyway Hardy's in on goal and Hardy scores is he onside though he's not very good at onside yeah, he's, he's uh, proved it again good job Hardy love you mate love you mate <laughs> can we please get another opportunity though that's that's a good sign for us though showing that we can score against this team showing that we've got the ability to get in behind and break down their defense as we could be doing if we win the ball here we haven't won the ball and they've shot wide at the post we are very lucky to still be on level terms with that incredible opportunity he's just sliced it miles wide should have at least been on target but luckily for us it isn't but with 10 minutes to go it is looking like sheffield wednesday has been the more dominant of the two sides going into the break which is disappointing to say, but I think we did have a very decent end to the first half, but still not quite enough. And I would like to see a couple of opportunities actually coming our way. We 
when we're not standing in an offside position. So I was going to demand more, but the opportunity has already come. It's been headed out. I don't think we have the pace to get there, and I think they're going to attack us now as they look for a ball over the top. Does end up playing it back, and they have the ball on this right wing. I'm sure that's their striker in that position. So out of position right now, but it doesn't matter because they still find the ball into the left winger, have options in the mixer, hit it just wide of the post. And I think tactical changes are needed to be made. Palmer looking tired, apparently playing a 7.0 rating though. But I think it's time for John Jules to come back into the squad. And I hope that he can create an instant impact. He was really good for us when he was fit, went out for an injury. I don't even know if I told you guys about that. I probably didn't. Well, that's, that's really dumb of me. He broke his leg in, in training. You know, I definitely didn't tell you about that. Probably should, probably should have told you about that. Uh, 30 minutes to go on this one. He is back is the important thing. And are we going to see a chance for us here? We could as Kovar picks it up. Rolls it out to Jones. Jones looking for a ball forward. Finds Martin. Martin into... Mm, it's not quite to Walker. And they're throwing goal. And they've had so many opportunities. And I knew that one was going to go in. Because they just... They had so many chances. One of them, of course, was going to end up in the back of the net. And now I think positive mentality is the way to go. Try and get some chances under our belt. Get a couple of shots in on goal and score one, hopefully. Let's see what happens as we have another opportunity here. Johnson into Martin Calderon. Calderon back to Johnson, who was definitely locking down that right back spot now. I don't think that Clark has much of a shout for starting there anymore, unfortunately. I think I will be looking to sell him next season. Toure into Martin Calderon. Robson, John Jules, Walker, I like this play, it's calm, it's composed, and I always say, we're, we're good when we pass it around, wait for the pass, and then strike, this time not quite striking in terms of a goal, but that was very nice, it was, a, it was a good position, and it was a good ball over the top, I think that Hardy probably should have taken it down, and instead of hitting that on the volley, he probably shouldn't be shooting from outside the box at all, it's, 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 he's not even a very good player, but it doesn't matter when he's not a very good player, no way! You're not ruling this out for offside. Who's offside? He's offside. No, by quite a bit. Oh, that's really frustrating. That's another goal that we have been ruled out because of an offside shout. I think that we could concede again here. Hit it over the bar. Another substitute needs to be made, though. That's going to be Drahir in the midfield. Robson to come off. And I, I, I don't have any faith in Maya coming on and making an impact, so I'm not going to bring him on. I am going to demand more from the boys. Hope that that fires them enough to create an attacking opportunity to, to potentially draw this game. Smith is on the ball, loses it straight away, but we win it straight back. Drahir got the fresh legs, trying to create something. Eventually, it comes out to two, Ray. Over to Smith. Wins the header, luckily. Johnson, John Jules, back into the team. And back on the score sheet. I love this man. Do not rule it out for offside, please. It looks like it's gone for long enough that it's not going to be offside. We've managed to score it. We've managed to tie it back up. And it's John Jules back into the lineup doing exactly what he needs to be doing from the cam position. Scoring goals, creating opportunities. I, mean, I haven't seen him create an opportunity. But we could actually push for this win now with only a couple of minutes to go. I've got one more substitute. I think I'm going to solidify the defense with... Cooper coming on for the last couple of minutes, and I'll bring two. Uh, I'll bring Alfie Jones off, but both of them are not having very good games in terms of average rating. Normally, they're getting at least like seven point ones, even when they concede a couple of goals. But to be fair, the defense overall wasn't the best, and that is why we've come away with just a draw in that one. Oh, it was a bit shameful. I'm sorry, it was like we should have done a lot better than we did there, and now. I'm not feeling hugely confident going into this next game as we have dipped in form. I think a team meeting could be in order. Away from home against Cardiff, this could really send us in the right direction. Let's try a team meeting. Uh, team meeting. Do I say, look, we know it hasn't been easy. Okay, I think I'm going to say this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. Um. Ooh, okay. It wasn't the over... Ooh, no. Uh, I should have said we've been doing okay. Yeah, clearly. Um, oh, no. We're probably not going to win this next game. Morale is low in the camp. And um, personally, uh, some serious significant loss of a relationship with my players has affected me on a deeper level. However, a bounce back win here is, is exactly what we need. 
don't think it's going to happen, boys and girls. Okay, this is the team that we're going with. John Jules is back in. Palms on the left hand side. We're dropping Hardy. You suck. Hey, I, I love him. Kind of. Not really. He does suck a bit. Like, he's just a bit terrible. Like, he, yeah. He's, he's pretty bad. We didn't pay much for him, though. Come on. John Jules coming into the lineup. Away from home against the second place team. Second place team. Oh. I just realised that Bournemouth at the top of the table and I was complaining about drawing to them. Well, no, I said it wasn't bad, but like that's actually a very good result. Oh, to be fair, we were like top of the table for a significant period of time this season, so realistically we should be able to compete against any team, especially teams like this. I love you faking Walcott. When you need someone to turn the morale of the team around, you turn to Fagan. I shouldn't have done that team meeting. I should have turned to Fagan to do that team meeting. What is your leadership, man? You need to be a captain. It, I need to know, I need to know this. This is crucial, actually. Because I do not have him as a captain. He's not going to be a captain. Um, but he's going to be an influential player for many years to come. Three leadership, man. You, you'd be perfect. You've been, you've been the hero of Salford for many years. And he's turning into one tonight once again, even though it is the only shot we've had. And I now actually feel very nervous because I was, I was thinking, you know, first chance came our way. Dominant performance so far? No, um, one shot. But at least I've only had five and it's half time. So we can be happy at the half time break and I'll give them some praise. They deserve it. Keep working well and keep working hard until the final whistle. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. And we could be adding another one. To oh, no, you've had, yeah. You've given it away straight away. They throw on goal. Good thing Robson put in that tackle, but the chance still isn't over. And they're running down the right-hand side, playing it back in, crossing it in, and gets the ball straight back after a clearance. Left-hand side now. Left back. Centre mid. I don't know what's going on, but they're still attacking us is the concerning thing. Charlibur. Definitely a couple of players I recognise. I don't recognise that man, and that's why I didn't score. Let's go. That's what we needed. Touchline treatment. Okay, Smith is injured. I thought that they were calling back for a penalty, to be honest. So I'm just happy that it's not that. And um, I mean, to be fair, a, an injury to one of our more important players is not ideal either, especially when he's actually playing decent in this match. But that doesn't matter right now because we're winning this game as long as he's not broken his leg like John Jules. And I will actually tell you if he had broken his leg. Well, wow. can't make any promises, can I? 25 minutes to go in this one. Substitution needs to be made as Robson's looking tired and we need a strong boxer box midfielder So Smith is going to come into the midfield hopefully to lock that down Make sure they don't have any chances create maybe one more chance for us to get a goal and confirm the lead I just I just don't care if we don't see any chances. We're seeing the chances. We're seeing the chances They're on the right hand side playing it into the center. I would love a win here. It would be so good for morale It would be so good for morale. Do not concede. Do not concede boys. Close that down. Get it away Oh my gosh. I mean, we don't deserve to win this game statistically at all. But we're going positive. We're going for it. A draw means nothing to me. Absolutely nothing. Well, I would way prefer it than a loss. But I'm <laughs> I'm going all in. You gotta go all in in life. And Hardy's gonna be the man to come on to hopefully make an impact. Impact sub. We all know he's that he's he's the best player. He's not the best player. Don't go oh, on no, I shouldn't have gone positive. We've cleared it out. That's the important thing. Okay, another opportunity straight away. Straight away. I don't see them giving the ball away here as well. I'm sorry. I think this is their chance again. I thought that we won the ball there for a second. They've put a ball in though. Oh my, heads it in the complete opposite direction. We needed him to. Johnson, close him down. Don't let him put a ball in. Oh, he's passed it. See, that's a good trick. And he's passed it back. He's headed it. Woodwork. Shot. Clear. Yep, good. Like it. Love it actually. Brilliant. Beautiful stuff. Should I be on positive? I really shouldn't be on positive. But if we get a chance against a runner play, you know what? Let's screw this short passing. We're going very direct. We are trying to hit early crosses. We are looking for a counter-attack goal out of nowhere to absolutely misery compile the Cardiff City side. But we're going to have to accept a draw. And to be fair, I probably will. It's just the fact that we were winning that game for such a long period of time, albeit very undeservedly so that's probably a good result for us overall actually i can't complain too much about that i just am a little bit gutted about it because now we're down in fifth place uh, to be fair only one point away from being in third place but i would have loved to have been in a serious competition for the top two spots at the end of this episode but unfortunately we're gonna have to simulate off camera to about i don't know like middlesbrough might play middlesbrough and hull on camera 
and then simulate these three games off camera and end the season hopefully by pushing for those promotion spots we'll be versing West Brom and Stoke to end the year but that is still two episodes away and you guys need to make sure that you subscribe and like this video if you have enjoyed it and I'll see you all later.